Hi and welcome back to the second part of this tutorial and we were making our iTunes icon so let's get back to what we were doing so we made our shape we added some uh, nice radial blur to it and we added our shine but we're not completely finished with our shine because there's a lot more features to it so we're gonna go to new layer we're gonna control click on our shape and we're now hold control alt and click on our shine and that should select your bottom part of this button and then we're gonna go to our gradient again and we're gonna choose from white to transparent and we're gonna choose our colors to be black and then we're gonna drag from here from the end of this selection to here and that should give you this black and that should stick out our shine right here but I think it's not enough so let's do it a bit more ah this is enough then let's choose a lower opacity to 50 let's say and control D to deselect now that's good but you might notice that our uh, shine is not perfect like it was here it's because uh, I was rushing and I didn't do it perfectly so you must bear with me and let it go so yeah then we're gonna go to new layer and add a small shine right here we're gonna do so by going to our brush tool selecting a white as our foreground we're gonna go to brush tool and hardness must be at zero and size you will choose on your own it should fit here what the hell that was strange then we should drag our shine right here sorry I have to pause sorry about that there were, there was something wrong with my photoshop so now that we added our brush it should look something like this and you should put it right here and you can position it with your uh, arrow keys on your keyboard to your liking and then we're gonna uh, click control and click on our shape then on our keyboard we're gonna type control shift and I to deselect uh, to select everything but our shape and we're just gonna click delete and then control D to deselect now that we did that we're gonna go to our blend option blend yeah blend option of our newly created shine and we're gonna go to overlay now that's too pink so we're gonna go to opacity and put it at 66 I guess and that's basically our shine now we're gonna make this circle and our download arrow so as you can see this is not particularly an iTunes icon it will be a download icon and don't forget to uh, download uh, the project file there will be a link in the description and you will get a project file of this button so let's get on so what we need to do is go to elliptical marquee tool and uh, by holding down shift drag a perfect circle and position it to the center and go to fill and use white oops you must create a new layer I forgot to do so and go to edit fill white then we're gonna go to select modify contract 
and we're going to type in 7 pixels and that's just enough then we're going to click delete and it will delete our center part we're going to go to control D to deselect and we're going to go to new layer now we're going to add the arrow shape the arrow shape will be found on your arrows right here click and choose arrows and you will find many types of arrows and we'll choose this this one right here and we will drag our arrow then position it then we're gonna go to edit transform path and we're gonna rotate 90 uh, degrees CW and we're gonna center it with our arrow keys yeah that's good and now we're gonna rasterize our layer and merge it with our circle and we should have now one layer and we're gonna go to blending options and we're gonna go to bl uh, to bevel and, and emboss and we're gonna go to style pillow emboss and now we're gonna do some cool options So we're gonna put that at around 200%. We're gonna go to size 2 and soften 7. And then we'll uh, 7 pixels. And we're gonna go to opacity of our black color. And we're gonna choose 60. And this is basically what you uh, what you will get. And this is the end of this tutorial, I hope you enjoyed, I hope it was helpful, I hope you make lots of these buttons, comment, rate and subscribe, thanks for watching.